The days are getting shorter, the air has a nip in it, and all you want to do is curl up in front of the TV and watch a movie and munch on some snacks. Ah, oh, my friends, there's danger in those innocent bowls of chips and dip. But fear not, for I have found a treat that will satisfy your taste buds while helping to fortify your healthy body. It's all hidden here. And we'll explore the secret benefits of the pumpkin today on Thin Kitchen. I bet many of you didn't know that the pumpkin is a squash fruit and a vegetable. I bet you also didn't know that it's also an excellent low calorie source of vitamin C or vitamin C, protein, potassium with zero fat. Now there's all sorts of pumpkin recipes including pies, cakes, side dishes and one of my favorite low fat munchies, pumpkin cookies. It's the perfect treat for you and the kids and it's certain to satisfy the goody monster on those cold nights. Now they're really easy to make. In this bowl, I've pre-mixed all my dry ingredients, which you can get from the recipe. I'm going to come back to that in a second. In this bowl, I'm going to add my non-fat yogurt, the vanilla extract, the oats and brown sugar, one whole egg, and of course, the pumpkin puree. Now, make life easy for yourself and use canned pumpkin, but make sure you read the label first and check there's no sugar, fat, or other unnecessary stuff in it. So let's get that in there like that. Now that's all blended nicely, we're gonna get the dry mixture that I mixed earlier and add it a little at a time. By doing this, it's gonna help you avoid lumps. So you put a little in, break it up nicely. This helps avoid the flour sticking together. And now for the last of the flour. This mixture really does actually smell really good. I've got to say, with all the cinnamon and cloves in there, you get a definite feel of the holidays. We're going to now add the last things, the raisins. and the unsalted nuts, like so. Give that one last mix. So it's actually also good to stir this together with a, a wooden spoon. And you do get that added bonus of a good wrist workout. Now, if you were me, you'd just take the spoon in the bowl and eat it like this, but we really should cook them. So we're gonna spoon them onto a cookie sheet, nonstick, of course, like so. Take your teaspoon, you don't want to make them too big and place them on the sheet. They don't have to be perfect round circles. You know, they're not going to be hanging around for long. Let's face it. Now, once you've done all of those, you're going to pop them into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. The smell of these cookies will bring smiles and hungry hands from miles around. Right then. Well, lucky for me, just one of these will satisfy your goody monster within, so don't overdo it. You know, these cookies easily treat your sweet tooth cravings while staying within your healthy diet. And you can download the recipe by clicking on the takeaway tips link just there. Oh, and don't forget to check out more episodes of Thin Kitchen for more great ideas. Mm -hmm.